This is the Segoholic episode 73. How to soft mod an Xbox with Soft Mod Installer Deluxe. This is the Unleash X dashboard for the soft mod and is one of three selectable dashboards. Here is where you launch backup games and emulators, adjust system settings like fan speed and audio video settings. First off, we need to obtain the soft mod installer deluxe files or SID files. I'm going to be using SID 5.11, although SID 5.12 is available. What 5.12 has is a newer version of XBMC, but that is easily updatable. To get SID 5.11 from Xbox HQ, click Downloads, scroll down to SID, then click the 5.11 link, and then click Enable Download. When a download button below it lights up, click it. After roughly 10 seconds, the download window pops up. Next, a Windows program called Explorer 360 is needed. Either versions of Beta 6 is fine. To run Explorer 360 properly, a computer running Windows XP either natively or virtually is needed. Off camera, I've already installed Explorer 360 Beta 6 and transferred the SID 5.11 RAR file to the desktop. Now, unpack the SID 5.11 RAR file and throw it away if you wish. Inside the unpacked folder are two versions of the 5.11 installer. The vanilla 4 megabyte installer will fit a regular Xbox memory card, while the larger 95 megabyte USB installer needs a memory media of at least 128 megabytes. Also in the folder are four loader files that pose as save files for the specific games and initiate the installation process. Lastly, a manual is included and is very thorough. I recommend you read the manual as there is a lot of useful extra information about the Xbox. Since I have a 4GB memory stick, I'm going to use the USB installer, which has useful applications preloaded along with the three NTSC loader files. Later, I'll demonstrate what it looks like using all three games and what versions of the games work. With the files unzipped, I'm moving them to the desktop. Like I said in the last episode, a USB adapter and compatible USB memory media is needed. You also need to format the stick as instructed previously. With the stick formatted by the Xbox, transfer it to your PC that's running Windows XP. Then open the Explorer 360 program. In the Explorer 360 menu, click Drive and choose Open Hard Drive or Memory Card. If the memory stick is formatted properly to FatX, a partition will show. Click on the partition. Inside the folders of the unzipped installer and loader files are folders with an 8-digit number. Drag this folder into the larger side of the Explorer 360 window and a file transfer status window should appear injecting the stick with the USB installer files. It will take roughly 22 minutes for the USB installer file while the loader files will only take a second. I take that back, it takes about 3 seconds. But when you're done injecting the files into the memory stick, you can go ahead and eject the memory stick from the PC. Next, I need to find out if the dashboard is on 5960 since I want to have dual boot options, meaning pressing the eject button to start up the Xbox can boot into one dashboard, while pressing the power button can boot into a different dashboard. To check the dashboard version, go to settings and scroll down to system info and wait for the end of the disclaimer. This Xbox is on 4920, so it'll need updating. To update the dashboard, use a newer game that has Xbox Live and try to sign in. For this example, I'm using Spike Out. You should get a confirmation screen indicating that the dashboard is being updated. Here, I'm just double checking to see if the dashboard has been updated. With the dashboard updated, the files from the memory stick can be transferred to the Xbox's hard drive. To do this, go to Memory. Now, highlight and select the controller port which the USB stick is on. 
then highlight and select the SID 5.11 installer USB file, click right, then click A, then copy. Do this for the other SID 5.11 loader files. To initiate the soft mod, we need one of three compatible games. First is the original Sprinter Cell. All versions work, including both regular Platinum hits and a best of Platinum hits. Second is James Bond 007 Agent Under Fire. The original and Platinum hits versions work, although the Platinum hits disc needs to be the 144-8517 version and not the 144-8527 version. Last game is Mech Assault. Do not get the Game of the Year version. It will not work. Again, do not get the Game of the Year version. Also, the disc needs to be checked as the MS-02301L version works, but not the MS-02308L version. Seven Agent Under Fire, press start and select load mission. Then Xbox hard disk. After a few moments, the SID installer should appear. The 007 Agent Under Fire Platinum Hits version with the 144-8517 label also works the same. For the Mech Assault MS-02301L disk, select Campaign, then Run Linux. After a few moments, the SID installer should appear. With the installer started, select Backup slash Restore Features, then select Create EEPROM Backup. This needs to be done to start the installation process. Now select Backup EEPROM from the menu, and once done, exit the menu. Back at the main menu, select Backup slash Restore. Then select MS Backup and choose Yes. With both backups made, we can back out of this menu. I'm doing a dual boot soft mod with a retail MS dashboard. Here, do not choose RGB if you are using component cables. I also find choosing HD makes no difference. So I just choose the first option. For the hack dash, I like using Unleash X for its simplicity. The first part of the installation will take about four and a half minutes. When the first part is done, select yes to shut down the Xbox. Then make sure to press the power button before pressing the eject button to remove the disc. Just follow the on-screen directions and press A to start the second part of the install. And that's it. The Xbox will restart into the Unleash X Dash. You have to load games or emulators, but applications will have some tools as well as XBMC preloaded. The first thing I would do is change the fan speed to keep the system cooler. Go to System, then Settings, and scroll down to System. I like to run the fan at 2.5. The trade-off here is that the fan is loud. Make sure to save and restart to have the settings take effect. This is my Beater Xbox that I put in a larger 80GB hard drive. Notice the F drive in the left top corner. These are some of the games I either ripped with the Xbox or ripped on a computer and FTP. Best thing about the Xbox is that it has the best version of 
of OutRun 2. You can restart the Xbox by holding down the triggers and pressing the back and start buttons at the same time. A great main emulator on the Xbox is Final Burn Legends. I redid the graphics in Photoshop and messed around with the custom videos for some of the games and was part of the reason for my past extended absence from YouTube. Check out my custom attract screens. You have to download a program to convert the captured videos into an Xbox format and involves needing older hardware and software so it may be a pain for some to do. This is the game that a lot of the late 80s, early 90s kids grew up on. It changed video games and was a revolution. Everybody, even the non-gamers, knew what Street Fighter was. Great thing about Final Burn Legends is that it has a great scanline overlay. Be careful when using the file explorer. The C drive is where the retail dash is, so don't mess with it. Consider it like a C drive on a Windows machine. The D drive is the DVD drive, while the E drive is where the soft mod resides, as well as save files and most importantly, the backup files. This UData folder is where the game saves and DLC are at, and also the EEPROM backup. The EEPROM backup is in the 215-85554 folder and it needs to be backed up ASAP. You can FTP or use your USB stick to transfer the file to, and I'll cover this in the next video. The backup on the root directory of E is the retail MS-Dash backup. Anyways, I'll leave you guys showing a cool version of XBMC called XBMC for Gamers by Rocky5. Questions? Comments? Or just wanna shoot the bull? Leave them in the comments section. And for the new viewers, don't forget to subscribe. Shoots.